G'day folks. This afternoon I've come back to one of my favourite carp fishing spots. This little creek is mostly a carp fishery, although last two times I've been here all I've caught has been redfin and very little ones at that. Now it has changed a bit since I was here last. The grass has grown a lot, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleaning up before I can put my lines in. I mean if you look in the middle of all that long grass you'll see my fork shaped stick from last time I was here. <laughs> And you know what, it was only about a month ago that I was here, so things have changed pretty quickly. But anyway, I'm going fishing. Let's go and see if we can catch a fish of any kind. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Before I start, I've got to tell you, it's very windy. It's just, we've got a bit of a lull in the wind now, but we've had some really strong wind for the last hour or so. I don't like the wind a whole lot. Unlike those great big renewable energy plants down south in Victoria here, I'm not a big fan. Big fan. Now, last time I was here in my deeper, you may remember if you saw the video, my deeper chirp plus indicated there was a bit deeper water over there and something on the bottom. And then I, I fished there and caught a couple of uh, small redfin. It also showed me something on the bottom close to those reeds over this side, too. So I put this one there and I cast my other one over there. And this one can go over here. That's where I caught the two redfin last time. I'm not sort of sold on how my fishing rod's going to be leaning on these grasses here in the wind. That was a nibble. Surely that wasn't the wind. Look how much the rod's dancing around. Had to have been a bite. There it goes, there's a bite. Hard to sort of tell the difference in the wind. Definitely was a bite. And it goes, it's playing with it now. It's just playing with it. And again. Got him. I don't know what I got, but... I'm assuming it's a big old... It's a giant, this carp. And a very big one. <laughs> I feel like I say it's a giant redfin, but tell you what, if that was a redfin, it would be a giant redfin. What the hell? That is enormous! It's not even fighting all that great. I caught a carp smaller than that a couple of weeks ago and it fought way harder. For the, look at the size of it, the bloody thing's three foot long. I cop a lot of flack for using this net that I'm carp fishing. <laughs> that is enormous! I don't know what was going on because it didn't fight like a normal carp. It didn't bite hard, it didn't fight hard, but it's Absolutely insanely big. Now he's now he's just worked out what's going on. He's just sort of thought to himself, hang on, something's not right here, there's something stuck in my mouth. So hook, now he's showing his true colours. That was bizarre, it didn't bite very hard and it didn't really fight very hard. But it's making up for it now. I should have the lip grips with me. Just look at the boil out in the creek. It's nearly half as wide as the creek. <laughs> I'm just keeping my eye on this other rod here while I'm fighting this fish. That's not going to get in that net. Not a hope in hell. This is the biggest carp I've caught for a long time. It's huge. Got to get in the habit of bringing a brag mat or a tape measure or something with me. People always ask how big, how big. Too big for this net, that's how big this one is. It's alright. Now some people tell me I should use a smaller net. And they're right, they're true. But some people are actually really rude about it. I don't understand that. I don't care a great deal either. <laughs> this is enormous. That's it. I'm going to buy a bigger landing net this week. This is my first carpet. Mystery Creek. Carp Creek. I call it Mystery Creek because you never know what you're going to catch in this spot. The water's going to go down a foot and only fits thing out of the water, mate. That's still not going to go in, you know. Yes, it is. It's in. <laughs> That's at least 12 or 13 pound. Wow. <laughs> Have a look at that. Just look at my hand. 
that is huge. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a measure of my fishing rod in a minute. I'll get a bit of an idea in here. Let's give me a bit of an idea. He's about three centimetres short of that red line to the end of the rod. That'll be a ballpark figure. I'm guessing he's probably going to be up around 80 centimetres. Absolutely huge. Run down, it'll probably get off. I'll slowly sneak down. Come on. It's, just, it's, just, it's still pulling, it's still pulling. Got him! <laughs> right on dark. Just about ready to pull up stumps. And along comes carpy number two. I've had a few nibbles that haven't hooked up. And I was uh, just about ready to pull up stumps. Then along come this one. Now in my last video, I showed a scene where I'd uh, dispatched of the carp and it was in the water, but it hasn't quite floated away like I'd hoped it had. And I caught a lot of flack. Oh, you shouldn't throw the fish back. They can still breed when they're dead or they can still spawn when they're dead. Tell you what, I hope I can still spawn when I'm dead, folks. There's absolutely no way a dead carp can spawn. That is the biggest myth in fishing. And I just can't believe that people actually believe it. <laughs> Once it's dead, it's dead forever. All right. This one shouldn't be as hard to get in the net as the other one. This is about half the size. <laughs> Come on, mate. Don't you even get hungry. I want to go home. Well, 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 come on. Come on. Stop being stupid. Get in the net. Stop being dumb. Stop stuffing around. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, he's bigger than half the size of the last one. He's still quite a quite a big carp, but as you can see, he fits in the net, unlike the last one. Going by the fishing rod measurer, he's about 20 centimetres shorter than the last one. And he's still a fair old carp. The last one when lined up with the end of the rod was about two or three, three maybe four centimeters back from this red one. So the last carp was that long. That's a good 10 centimeters or more longer. That might not seem like much, but that's quite a bit. There it is, folks. That's still a pretty big carp. Just imagine it being 10 centimeters longer like the first one. I hope that puts a bit of perspective into how big that first fish actually was. All right. Camera goes off for the next bit. It's uh, probably fishing policy. How good was that? <laughs> I've had a blast. I've got two big carp, both on worms with a pat nostering. This sort of spot might not be much to a lot of people, but I really enjoy it here. It's just a relaxing spot to come fishing and come carp fishing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have liked it, why not consider subscribing to my channel and hopefully you'll join me on my next fishing adventure.